Today I'm going to be cooking some nice Malbec braised lamb shanks. Malbec braised lamb shanks. Well, this dish sounds quite fancy, but don't worry because this European style dish is quite easy to make at home. As we have Chef Monish Rora with us today, who will teach us how to make this dish, which is not a part of any of his menus. It's something that he learned from his past travels abroad. So keep watching and let us know if you like this recipe. Thank you for having me, Bianca. Today we're going to show you one of my favorite recipes in cooking lamb. We're going to be braising the lamb shanks in a French style. At the same time, we're going to be cooking some pasta. It's very easy and the oven does most of the job. So let's get started and let me show you how it's done. First, we're going to start with seasoning the lamb. You can see I have a nice cut of lamb shank. It's freshly cut. And I've also kept the trimmings with me. Some black pepper. And some salt. Add some veg oil to it. Use veg oil to have a higher smoker tem smoking temperature. And wait for it to smoke and be really, really hot. Once your oil is nice and hot, you can see a little bit of smoke coming out of it. You need to sear all sides of the meat. You start with one side. Do not touch it once you put it down on the pan. The moment it stops sticking, that's the time to move it. Once you get a nice sear, there's a good brown color, it's time to get it out and put it on a cooling rack. After you put your meat in the cooling rack, use the same pan. Remember the flavors of the searing are still in this. Uh, add your mirepoa. Mirepoa is basically celery, carrots and onion. It's 50% onion, 25% celery, 25% carrot. It's a cool way of calling it with mirepoa. Next, we need to add some tomato paste, some acidity. You get this anywhere in the market. This is the stage where we add the meat back in the pan. And now what we're going to do is what the French call deglaze. That's the Malbec wine we use. We remove all the flavor from the pan, the bottom of the pan. And wait for the alcohol to evaporate. That's when the acidity comes down. Basically, I've made some lamb stock and I've mixed it with some tomato puree. And you can see it right here. It's very easy to make. It's basically lamb stock and some tomato puree with some garlic and other herbs. Now we're going to add this mix till it reaches half the beef. Once you see the gravy simmering like nicely, it's time to close it. Up. Preheat your oven at 180C. 180C is a sweet spot to cook anything, for me at least. We preheated the, uh, this oven and now we're going to put the Dutch oven inside. So the lamb is in the oven for approximately an hour to two hours. We're going to check every 15 20 minutes if it's cooked or not. For the lamb, internal temperature has to be 75 to 80 degrees for it to be completely cooked. So now we can see the lamb is nicely cooked. It's cooked through. It's so soft, it's falling off the bone. Just going to remove the shank, keep it on a cooling rack. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the gravy just a little bit. Check my seasoning, add some salt if I have to, and then in the end, I'm going to volte with some butter. We're going to start cooking our pasta, and let's get started with that. So here I boil some pasta for 8 minutes. Now put one portion of the cooked pasta. Season it nicely. Salt and pepper. Drizzle some more olive oil. Put the pasta right in the center. Try to create a nest. Have the shank sit right in the center of the pasta. Add some fried rosemary, some parsley. Last but not the least, a good chunk of parmesan. Mm -hmm. 
Well, thank you so much, Chef. The dish looks very tempting. So that was a restaurant style dish for you guys. I hope you liked watching this video. Do let us know in the comments below if you happen to try this recipe. Until then, this is me, Bianca Saurashtri. Happy cooking! Yeah.